Hey, hey YouTube, how are we doing? Today is going to be a bit of a long one, so put the kettle on before you delve in, because today I am retracing the steps of my CBD, CBT practical ride. So it's going to be quite a long one, uh, I'm going to be covering it in full, uh, assuming that my battery uh, lasts that long, and, uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, basically tell you exactly what happened on my CBT as it happened. So I'm going to uh, turn around and park up outside the motorcycle test centre place where I did it, and uh, get going from there. See you in a bit. Okay, so it was a quick jolly out of our test centre, uh, which was just behind me just there, and we immediately took a left onto this housing estate. Um, now I think the idea of this bit was to uh, just get a little bit of practice for you doing your indicators and uh, making right hand turns uh, I'm guessing because we did quite a lot of this uh, lap wise in fact we did probably four or five laps so I'm going to whiz around a few times and um, show you what's what uh, you'll notice that there is a lot of cars parked on the road here so we had to do a lot of dodging the cars uh, but thankfully it was quite quiet when we did this on a Saturday afternoon uh, so next we popped up to Marlborough Road so the, uh, obviously the instructor was behind us obviously checking that we're using our indicators cancelling them um, and also making the turn as we should and definitely having a good looking out um, whilst you're doing it as well So whilst the roads are quiet, there are quite a lot of obstacles and junctions and all that kind of thing. And I must admit, on this first, the first time we came round here, or perhaps the second lap, uh, I nearly overcooked it a bit on this bend because it's quite tight. It looks like a junction, but it's not. Okay, so that is almost one little loop and the guy wanted to see us looking over our shoulder when we came up against a uh, thingamabob like that. It's not that one, it's the next one. So, all your mirrors, because I'm turning right into Marlborough Road here. Kill the indicator. I mean, obviously being very, very much a greenhorn when we got to this stage of the ride, this was uh, about as much as your brain could calculate. You know, changing gear and uh, making sure you hit the corners and uh, doing your indicators, all that is all whizzing through your brain. What have I got to do now? Uh, because now riding along, I basically change gear without thinking about it. But um, when you were riding around here for the first few times, it, everything was new, uh, despite, uh, you know, riding a few times around the car park. So. Um, basically, yeah, it was quite. Oh. <laughs> so this is uh, clearly used. There's a couple of learner drivers there, so this is clearly used. This uh, little stretch of a state for the uh, new learner rider and drivers. So uh, luckily, I saw that one pulling out in front of me, <laughs> and I hope they don't get in trouble. No harm done. Probably going around here a little bit quicker than I was on the day because, uh, like I say, there was a lot going on in my head. Kill the indicator. Yeah, they're doing laps the same as I am. So there should be an orange one somewhere around here. They pulled up over it. I can remember actually when we were coming around here thinking to myself this is enough uh, you know knowing full well that uh, we'd be having a whiz around some bigger roads in a little bit but uh, for, for now this is as much uh, as your brain can compute basically is a lot to remember to do so I'm just going to whiz around here another couple of times 
look over my shoulder there whilst we go past this parked car Okay, all good. Kill the indicator. What are you doing? I don't think you know what you're doing. So it definitely goes without saying it's much easier today than it was then. At this point, I was actually uh, there was two of us on a, on my CBT, uh, and I was actually the back rider at this point. So I did have someone uh, in front of me, so I could sort of uh, follow and copy what they were doing. But that was not the case. We actually switched around throughout the uh, the CBT ride out. Uh, so at times I was at the front, other times the other guy was at the front. And uh, yeah, gave us an equal opportunity to be the uh, <laughs> guy in front, figuring out what you've got to do. Because it's easier to remember, of course, that uh, you've got to do your lifesavers and all that stuff if there's someone else uh, doing it in front of you. Okay, so this is my last little lap just here, and then we're going to shoot off and uh, head towards some bigger roads. Uh, <clears throat> blowy today blew me around a bit okay all good so this is the last time riding up here kill that indicator so I was I was in two minds whether to just sort of uh, ride around here once and show you what's going on but to give you more of an idea of what's actually going to happen on your CBT ride I suspect they do this uh, deliberately just so you get in a groove of doing the same thing over and over and over again uh, just to try and drum it in a little bit but this will be my last little ride down here uh, and I am now going to uh, come off of this road a little bit further around the bend and uh, go a little bit further afield. Okay, so I've got to turn in just on the left there. I did have to pour over Google uh, Maps yesterday to try and figure out which route we took because it was nearly six months ago when I did my uh, CVT. Let's call that indicator. So uh, yeah, it wasn't fresh in my mind by any stretch of the imagination. So we've still got a little bit of housing estate kicking off here, but also lots and lots of parked cars still. So lots of uh, potential hazards, I suppose. Okay, so taking a right here, so let's do our checks. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with these uh, these rows here. So I had to check where, where I'd been, basically. Uh, we did actually on the CBT day uh, go down a lot of roads that I've never been down before so do bear in mind you may be expected to go down roads uh, that, you've, uh, that you're not experienced riding but you're going to be doing that when you uh, get past your CBT anyway so it's all good practice. I don't think it was that one we went down. <laughs> Anyone training today? Doesn't look like it. No, all locked up. That's where the uh, CBT was in there. Okay, so I'm going to be taking a right here. As we head out of the estate and towards bigger roads. Assuming I've gone the right way. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know where this is. Yeah. 
shield indicator. So it's quite a lot of uh, like low speed roads uh, that we're riding on. Perfect for learners. <laughs> Okay, so still at this stage, I was actually the uh, tail rider and uh, I'll show, tell you in a minute how I remember this uh, detail. Pretty sure this girl's not on her driving test because uh, the instruct the guy in the passenger seat, the instructor is giving her lots of instructions. So uh, I'm pretty sure that doesn't happen on your driving test. So I don't want to pressurise this girl, so I'm going to make sure I don't get too close. Okay, so by this point, the uh, obviously I had an intercom in my ear. I couldn't talk back to the instructor, but the instructor was uh, had at, by this stage mentioned a few times that I was resting my foot on the brake, so my brake light was on all the time. So we actually pulled into this car park here and had a chat about it, and uh, basically he said uh, nicely, "You've got to sort that out." <laughs> so uh, as a result of that, I was next up, and uh, we pulled out of this car park, heading in this direction, and now I was the lead rider as we head on to the bigger roads, which I was uh, absolutely chuffed about, <laughs> as I'm sure you can imagine. Good place to park right opposite a junction there, mate. Okay, so once we got onto this road, this was basically my first opportunity really to do 30 miles an hour on a bike. Um, and whilst we'd been in the car park um, practicing previous to the uh, practical road test, um, you know, going up and down the gears a bit, going up any more than like uh, two or three gears was a bit of a, well, it was totally new. So that was a little bit weird uh, coming down here because it opens up in a minute for extra speed. But for now, it's a 30. So by this point, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm only telling you what was going through my head. I expect a lot of people wouldn't tell, wouldn't say. But uh, you know, riding down here, I was, you know, a bit nervous as you are doing your CBT. But uh, it's those 40 mile an hour signs which would have been putting it up me a bit. Uh, let's get up to 40, shall we? Um, because knowing that the end is a bigger road and faster road and stuff. Uh, I'm going to have to do it, so uh, thrown in at the deep end as it were. So I was a little bit nervous about that. But I was then asked to uh, take a right here, which I was quite pleased about because it's a bit slower than the other way. Kill the indicator. So during the CBT, any time when I was just on a straight bit of road like this with no obstructions was like uh, music to my ears, as it were, uh, because you haven't really got to concentrate on much apart from keeping up the traffic. Uh, there's no parked cars or anything like that to worry about. So 
so obviously on this little ride out I'll be doing all of the uh, the turns in the road and you know emergency stops and all that kind of stuff that I would have had to do on the day uh, because obviously you're not going to be asked to do an emergency stop on a road like this uh, where there's lots of traffic so we headed on to an industrial estate which we'll get to fairly soon and uh, I shall give a demonstration and show you exactly what we we're expected to do on the CBT day. Okay, so it was around this point that I was uh, instructed to indicate left because we're going on like a little bit of a dual carriageway kind of thing. Uh, so uh, yeah, just about here. I wouldn't have been asked to do it before that junction. So indicate left because there's a little filter lane just there. And I will be heading left right here. Okay, now the strange thing here is it's, it is a slipway here, so I need to keep my eyes open and indicate, and there's nothing there. That wasn't much fun on the day. Anyway, let's get up to speed. All the time, uh, very conscious about not resting my foot on the brake lever. I don't know why I was doing it. I had these boots on which I bought. Uh, which are motorcycle specific ones and they're quite clunky and to be honest I didn't even realize I was doing it it wasn't something like it wasn't a nervous thing covering the brake uh, I just didn't know I was doing it because I couldn't really feel what was going on under my feet but uh, uh, I've got used to the boots now this is 40 so let's get up to 40 So at this point, I, I, know, I do know this road, so I would have been thinking ahead, thinking uh, what am I going to have to contend with, and the answer is a hill start, potentially. Uh, but I can't even remember on the day, I'm pretty sure the lights changed just before I got there, so it wasn't an issue. But uh, yeah, all the sort of things you don't really look forward to on a CBT, that's what was going through my head. So whilst it's not a big hill, um, you know, it's still a hill start. But luckily the lights are all green today. No, not these ones. So this would have been uh, not much fun and I'm pretty sure I didn't have to do this on the day. It's, it's such a pathetic hill. Oh look, it's gone green. That's nice. Thank you very much. I was uh, thinking I might get a bit of hill start practice in there, but it's not to be. Right, let's get back up to speed. So at this stage I would have been thinking ahead to the uh, traffic lights that we got going on and uh, probably by this stage I didn't know which uh, way I was going to be asked to uh, go so uh, 
sort of planning it out in my head <laughs> in advance as it were As it happens, I was asked to go straight on. Straight down here. So shortly you'll be at a little industrial estate and um, which is where we did uh, the, <coughs> excuse me, emergency stops and the uh, turn in the road. All of this was quite quick because there was only two of us doing it. Uh, so we didn't have to sit around waiting for loads of people to have a go um, so just around this corner we have that said industrial estate this road is always longer than I remember it just hit me square in the sunglasses and uh, on the uh, late summer's day when I did my CBT it was very warm and my helmet was absolutely pummeled with uh, flying insects uh, so always definitely have some glasses even if you don't wear glasses definitely have some eye protection on because taking a bee to the eye not much fun I can imagine okay so I was asked to take a right here at this roundabout onto this little industrial area hoping it's not going to be too busy for me to carry out my manoeuvres. Okay, and indicate left, because I'm coming off the roundabout. Kill it. Right, it's a little bit busier car-wise than it was on the day, so let's get down here and uh, I'm going to set up another camera so you get a better view of what I'm doing. Yeah, there's lots of parked cars here, so in the event of there being too many to do what I need to do, I will just tell you about it. Okay, great news, it's opened up and this is was our theatre for the day. So I'm going to pull up over the end just here and stick another camera on the bike. So I shall be back in a second. Okay, so I've set me up a little camera up now and uh, this is what we were asked to do basically. We were asked to stop at the end here. We've got like a little T-junction going on here. And basically our mission was to ride along and do a turn in the road here uh, without obviously putting your feet down. Now the instructor did keep mentioning look in the direction you want to go. So I'm just going to demonstrate a turn in the road just here how we'll do it on the day. And hopefully it goes well. So uh, I'm going to indicate right because I'm moving out to the right and I'm in gear. All good to go. So let's do my checks. Okay, and uh, last check. Okay, not the smoothest one, but it is a turn in the road and that is complete. So let's kill that indicator. I need to turn around again because uh, next up was basically we were asked to um, do an emergency stop. So we pulled back a little bit further along here on the day. Uh, perhaps here and the idea was to get into second gear and get enough speed to do an emergency stop uh, so about where that library headquarters sign is that's where I'm going to do my emergency stop uh, and uh, yeah show you what we were doing okay just check there's no one there Right, so we would have started about here. The guy was stood somewhere near that trailer and he just basically uh, told you to stop when he wanted you to. And uh, that's all you had to do and come to a stop as quickly and as controlled as possible. So I'm just going to check before I pull away and uh, get up to speed, second gear. And he would have stood there and gone stop. And that's as simple as it is. Didn't stall it. And then also uh, nice and safe. 
uh, getting going again. Let's put that back in first. Okay, so I'm going to pull over now and uh, get rid of my camera uh, on the back and then we shall proceed. Uh, worth pointing out actually, when I did my emergency stop, I had to do it two times because the first time I did it, I locked the back wheel up and did a skid. Uh, so I was asked that I needed to do it again uh, and I did complete it fine on my second go. So let's get rid of this camera and we'll get on with it. Okay, back on the bike and uh, now let's get out of here. We are now heading, um, we're pointing out at this stage I was still the lead rider so doing all of this uh, for quite a way actually then uh, I was in front until we get to the pub basically. So that uh, is how that panned out, let's just check there's nothing there, good. Right, let's get, uh, we're going down to the seaside now. Nice place to do a CBT, right? Okay, let's get out of here. Lots of parked cars still. It's a bit of a stupid place to park there, to be honest with you. Okay, so at this stage, it was requested of me to take a right. So do all my checks. Check there's nothing coming. Okay, all good, let's get out of here. Got my indicator on, that's good. Getting the second gear. Okay, opposite indicator, because I'm coming off here. Kill it. Kill the indicator, bosh. Okay, so this is a bit I really had to check, because I don't know the back roads of cows, which is where we are now. So I'm looking out for Stevenson Road, because that's where we turned down. So if you see it, <laughs> yeah, it's on the left. Uh, worth pointing out actually with regards to the three point turns the other guy that was doing the cbt with me uh put his foot down i think it was on the first one is this stevenson road no uh so he had to do that again so i had to redo my emergency stop and he had to redo his um turn in the road but we all got past it and we all felt good about it for a little bit until we had to come back out and do this Stevenson Road. Yes, it is. Right, let's indicate left here. Quite a steep incline there, so uh, yeah, definitely a first gear for that one, I think. But I am pleased to say I did negotiate that nicely. Uh, probably better than I did then, to be honest with you. So at the top, we've got a right-hand turn again, um, which I think was on a little bit of a hill start. One of them was. Oh, this road is awful. Okay, so turn right, do me checks. Okay, all good, let's get out of here. Kill the indicator. Right, and there's a, another road on the left here called Victoria Road, so let's figure out which one it is. It might even be this one. Where's the sign? No sign. Excellent. Right, well, not that one. <laughs> Could this be it? I'm going down there anyway because I need to go in that direction. Yes, Victoria Road, so great news. Okay, kill the indicator. So we got a parked car here. They should pull over really. No, I'll wait for them. They're coming up the hill, so that's good. Quick look over my shoulder. Okay, so this is the road with a hill start at the end. Which I would have seen. <laughs> and not been uh, too delighted about.
it's worth pointing out on a CBT, no one does everything perfectly. Uh, once we got, once I got around this corner, the guy behind actually stalled it. So once I'd been instructed to take the next left, um, then uh, I had to wait around the corner for them to catch up. So let's get out of here. A bit of a hill start. Lovely. Kill the indicator. And now we're going left here. So let's do more indicators. <laughs> Okay, Ward Avenue. There's a lot happening. If anyone uh, has done the CBT in London, what happens if you're sitting in traffic all the time? Let me know in the comments or any, anywhere else with lots of traffic. Because we, we were lucky, we pretty much didn't get any at all, but I'm um, sure a lot of people aren't lucky enough to uh, live somewhere where there's not so much traffic. Okay, we're heading down to the seaside now, so you'll have a nice bit of scenery to look at. Give way. What are you doing? Okay, all good. There you go, just about to see the sea. But you'll see a lot of it in a minute. Okay, I need to take a left here. It's weird, downhill sharp turn. So let's get down here in a second. Queen's Road. Now this will take us down along the Esplanade in Cows. Let's kill that indicator. No doubt it will be a little bit busier down here today being, uh, uh, maybe actually, it was tail end of holiday season last time. We got half term at the moment, so more traffic than usual. For any uh, fact people, Alan Titchmarsh lives in one of these houses. I say he lives in it, he owns one of them and it's a holiday home. Very posh down it. Lovely place, Cow's Esplanade, I suppose you call it, Egypt Point, I think we are at. Bit of a water splash coming up. I 
Okay, so we're coming to a point now where I don't really know where it goes from here on in. So uh, that was an easy bit, that ride along there. But now we're getting, it's a bit more built up and I don't know where I'm going. Well, I do now because I've looked on a map, but I didn't when we were doing our CBT. I'm pretty sure I'd never ever been up here before. So uh, we've got a bit of a technical climb coming up and I was giving some surprising advice, uh, but I'm glad I took them up on it <laughs> because once we get around this corner, what are you doing? You can see we've got a tight uh, 90 degree left bend just coming up here. And I was advised to stick it in first gear and stay in it. <laughs> so that's exactly what I'm gonna do today because this road is steep. And obviously being on a 125, absolutely gutless. So although it sounds I'm revving it, I am. <laughs> but once we get around this corner, we can change gear in a bit. So let's get up this hill first. The last thing you want is to get in second gear and it starts struggling and the panic that would ensue so i'm pretty clear of that now so let's change gear and i've got to turn right up here somewhere down here i think so let's indicate right Kill the indicator. Interesting rowing boat on the top of this car. Always watch out for people opening their car doors. imagine there's much worse places to do a CBT than this. Before, I never even knew this all existed. Posh people's uh, holiday beach huts. So I can remember coming through this bit and being pleased that I had a priority. Well there's a lot of gravel in the road here so let's go taking it easy by going straight over it. <laughs> right, here we are, bit of a bigger road now. It's quite steep if I remember, so I don't wanna to go too low a gear, too high a gear. So now we're getting into a twisty section, uh, twisty country lanes really, but quite fast. So uh, a good test of all different types of riding today. Got a pedestrian here, so I need to get past there. No, no longer an issue. Your instructor on your CBT will want to see that you can obey the uh, speed limit signs obviously uh, but also keeping up with traffic when you need to as well so always keep the dog on your speed split screen yeah. oh mud on road oh smells like a farm definitely Can 
So whilst this might be helpful for you to see what's coming up on your CBT, uh, it's also helpful for me because I've not done a whole heap of riding since my CBT. So this, for me, is a great, great uh, practice ride. God, this 30 mile an hour zone goes on forever. Well, it's lovely though, isn't it? Oh, so I spy with my little eye a weird roundabout uh, down the end of this road. And I had a little bit of a whoopsie at this roundabout in that uh, when I thought I was in first or second gear, I was actually in neutral. So when I went to accelerate away from it, it was all a bit of a panic. I didn't know there was a one coming up. So I turned right here. So uh, yeah, all a bit of a panic. I didn't really know what was going on. And by the time I got to this stage, I'd managed to get myself in neutral and uh, kill the indicator. Yeah, managed to get myself in neutral, make a bit of a wally in myself, but we've all done it, I'm sure. And if you haven't, you will. road to ride down I wouldn't have been going quite like this So we're not too much uh, further down this road, we will come to a pub, uh, which is nice, and I'll show you why in a minute. Closed. Well, that's uh, annoying. I can't go to the pub then. <laughs> okay, right, that is annoying. I don't know where I am. <laughs> and the main road is closed, so I'm going to have to figure out another way to get back where I need to go. Uh, I will try and resume this as close to the main route that we took as possible. Blooming road closures.
it definitely would have been too good to be true getting around this whole route without there being a road closure typical island roads <laughs> right is there a diverted traffic sign here so let's go down there turn right do my checks Don't know where the hell this goes. Let's find out. Watch out here. Yeah? Okay, I'm going to try and find somewhere suitable to stop and uh, change out the battery in my GoPro. Nice little country lane. We're not too far, of course. Oh, I could have stopped there. Nice bit of horse poo there. Oh, I've got a giveaway sign. Right, so. Okay, so we should be back on course actually. I think it's just the bit where the pub uh, was that I can't go down. So let's uh, get out of it and figure out what's what. Right, anyway. Right, so it looks like we can't go to the pub. So basically what happened when we got to the pub, uh, I was asked to pull into the gravel car park, which was a bit sketchy. So you had to have your wits about you. But um, basically when we pulled into the car park, the, uh, the instructor popped out um, a bottle of water and some cups. <laughs> so it was a bit of a refreshment break. And um, I remember when the guy said, how long, you know, have a guess, how long do you think we've been there going for? And we both had a guess how long we've been on the road. We both said like half an hour. And it turns out it'd been over an hour. So uh, we were gobsmacked at how quickly the time had gone. And uh, certainly I thought to myself, well, that's good because uh, there can't be that much left of it because it's only about two hours long. So um, yeah, I was quite pleased about that. So. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to uh, go down to the pub. I'm pretty sure we're past it. And soon we shall be on the main road. So I'm going to try and find somewhere to stop, as I say, it's for a battery change. Uh, can't really do it here. Maybe the pub is down here. <laughs> like I said, not my neck of the woods.
pretty sure the pub might be just up in there. It's very haughty around here. It stinks. Is this all over the road? Slow down a bit. I think it's just chalk, but it could be slippery. So I'll be on the driest bit possible. That's right. Right, well we definitely have gone past the pub or we diverted around it because we're now heading onto the uh, main road here so hopefully my battery will last but this will take us straight back to Newport where we go around the town and do roundabouts and stuff in fact I'm going to pull in just over here and do my uh, battery Okay, we are now back in business. I have a new GoPro battery and now we are on the main road called Forest Road, which will take us straight to, all the way to Newport and back into the town for some uh, technical roundabout stuff. So let's get to it. It's quite a fun road, this one. I remember this is like, this was definitely the fastest I rode uh, on the CBT when it opens up here. So this is just pretty straightforward, so I'm going to shut up and let you enjoy a time lapse so it's not a really long video. Okay, so we are back in the room and uh, yeah, basically um, after we stopped off at the pub, we then switched around so I would be the tail rider, uh, so no longer at the front, um, blasting along that lovely uh, lay, that, that lovely road we just blasted down. Um, so yeah, I was at the front by this stage, uh, no I wasn't actually, I was still at the back at this stage, we switched over at the petrol station. Um, so we're just heading back into Newport now having done probably like a between five and ten minutes stint on a fast uh, national speed limit road 
and I tell you what it's at that stage when you start buzzing and thinking oh yeah this is a bit of me this is but it definitely felt much more comfortable today uh, having a bit of experience under my belt so coming up is um, our f first real foray onto a dual carriageway uh, it's quite short there's not much dual carriage around the Isle of Wight here um, but it was quite nerve-wracking I have to say but it didn't last long <laughs> as you're about to find out A lot of motorcyclists out today. Okay, not allowed in this box unless my exit is clear, so that's all good. I need to get in the left hand lane here, so I'll just do that right now. Reason being, I've got to come off in uh, just a second, just a little bit further down the dual carriageway here. We are definitely long overdue this glorious day. <laughs> it's lovely today. In fact, when I stop, it gets a bit warm in this jacket. On the CBT, I remember thinking to myself, uh, on the dual carriageway, I feel much more comfortable having someone experienced behind, sort of uh, to stop people in the cars getting too close to you, I suppose, behind you. Um, so it was nice having that uh, luxury on the CBT, uh, but no such luxury today. But I'm much more at ease now, which is good. Be nice if these change, and they have. So this is the only bit of uh, dual carriageway we have on the Isle of Wight. Uh, so if we want to go and do our Mod 2s and all that sort of stuff, we have to go to the mainland to do it, which is a faff. <laughs> okay, the reason I needed the left-hand lane was because I need to come off just here. So in a second, I shall start indicating. Let's get that indicator on. And this corner really tightens up, so you don't want to be in that gear. You don't want to be going too quick. So a good bit of brake practice. Okay, and coming off of that, we need to maintain our left-hand turn off of this roundabout. All good. Okay, and if that, as if that wasn't enough, now turning right on this roundabout. Where are you going, mate? Does anyone know where you're going? Because you haven't got an in... Oh, yeah, I've got an indicator. Oh, 
Okay, it was at this point that uh, we stopped in the petrol station and actually put some petrol in the bikes. Uh, they were the higher bikes of the CBT place. Um, so, uh, yeah, we did pull in there and get some petrol. And then after that, I switched. So now I was in the front, I was the lead rider. Um, basically, hang on, let me get it first. There you go. I was the lead rider from this point uh, as we head towards Coppins Bridge Roundabout, which uh, uh, regular viewers will know I had a, had a nightmare on there before with stalling and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I didn't actually on the day do any stalling. Kill the indicator. So this was our first foray into the town. Wait. Well, I don't need to indicate here because I've got no choice but to go. Uh Left here. They're all at it today. Right, so uh, keep the dog for cars pulling out in front of you and doors flinging open. Oh, hideous traffic. Uh, I'm not going to do any filtering today uh, because one, I've not done it before, if I'm being honest with you. And secondly, I wouldn't have been doing that on my CBT and that's what this is all about. So I'm going to have to just chill and wait and hopefully it moves quick. Good news is we haven't got that much further to go until we finished. I see a bit of movement. I noticed there's another motorcycle, a few cars ahead. That's not, uh, they're not filtering either. And also I've got another motorcyclist behind who is not filtering. Lots of junctions at the side and stuff. So perhaps that's why. Do you know what? I'm not going to fast forward through this bit because this is a part of it and this is what we would have been doing on the day but we didn't have to queue up this much obviously. Uh, it's a bit quieter than this. But uh, you know, do feel free to fast forward this bit. <laughs> Till we get to the roundabout.
how could you possibly design a roundabout so badly that it restricts the flow of traffic out of a town unbelievable I did make a bit of a mistake actually on this roundabout on my CBT. Uh, I went the wrong way, basically, <laughs> compared to what the instructor told me. But we recovered from it and that is what counts. So it doesn't really matter if you take the wrong turn and just carry on. I'm pretty sure that's the official advice. Don't panic, carry on. Good gosh, this is annoying. And the award for the most disgusting looking council building in the world? Right there. So I'm going to need the middle lane here because we're heading towards ride. Up there. Okay, so I'm heading in this lane where this white car is.
Okay, that's going red, so it should be green. Yeah, and it's clear in the box. So let's get out of here before it changes its mind. Second gear would be helpful. Let's get up here. Right, so at this stage, my instructor has asked me to uh, get in the right lane and turn right, but uh, I have just carried on going straight on. So my bad. Luckily, the light was green as it was then, and I'm pretty sure I didn't have to stop there, but I may have done a had to at this one. Lovely little hill start. So we're not actually that far away from being done here. It's just a shame we're sat in traffic. So a little bit further up the road because I've taken the wrong turn in. I was asked to turn right further up this road once we've cleared all these traffic lights and stuff so we can get back on track. Of course, when you uh, on your CBT, you will have an earpiece in your ear so you can hear what your instructor is asking you to do and where they're asking you to go, but you cannot talk back to them. So if you mishear something or you don't quite catch it, you can't ask them to uh, repeat it because they can't hear you. So you just have to carry on and doing what you think they said and hope for the best, but they can then give you clear instructions how they want you to rectify it. So like I say earlier, don't panic, just get on with it and uh, it will sort itself out. Getting a bit of a numb bum. On, on your CBT, any traffic light that remains green is a massive blessing. <laughs> okay, so we've got a right-hand turn coming up just here, and I'm going to turn right to get us back on track. Okay, let's indicate. And here we are, just here. So let's get down into second gear. Get into first gear and hopefully someone will let us past. Kill the indicator. Okay, so this uh, road will bring us back round towards Coppins Bridge Roundabout, which I have got to get on again, unfortunately, uh, to complete my little loop and to get back towards the test centre. Okay, so at the end of the road, we're turning right. So let's get our checks out of the way and make sure we're indicating nicely. Nice bit of first gear action. Oh, whizzy van. Come on, as soon as these clear, I guarantee there'll be a car coming the other way. Could be here all day. Uh, I think this car is letting me go, so we'll soon find out. They are, so let's get out of here. Thank you. Okay, we saved ourselves three quarters of an hour there <laughs> by someone letting me out. <laughs> 
Okay, so we head back down towards Coppins Bridge Roundabout, which is with the one we were just on. Hopefully there should be less traffic coming from this direction. Yeah, it looks much better. And I'm heading back into the town and towards the test centre. So I need the town centre lane, which is this one. Town centre, oh, there you go. Okay, so we're coming just off of this junction here. It'll take us uh, through the town centre and back towards Carisbrook, uh, which is where my test centre is. So assuming we get through the town quickly, we'll be back in a few minutes. little mini roundabout here so we're gonna go hang back a bit do have priority so I should make the most of that and check no one's pulling out good Obviously at this stage I had no idea that we were heading back uh, other than we're going in that direction. Uh, there could have been a load more traffic lights and things for me to contend with. But no, luckily just around the corner and all done and dusted. If we ever get out of here, could not live in a town like this. is clear so let's get out of here not allowed to uh, go into the box unless your exit's clear which it is so we're getting out of here let's see if we're gonna get through these lights yes we are
Okay, a little left hand turn coming up here. And lots of uh, pedestrians dawdling there. I might be wrong there, but I only have to stop for pedestrians uh, who are crossing, already crossing um, a turning like that. So if they're stood there waiting across, I don't have to do anything. But um, if they're already crossing, obviously I have to give way to them. I might be wrong there because it has changed recently. So uh, if I am, let me know in the comments. But I shall brush up anyway for my theory. Which is coming up very soon. I do remember actually, whilst we were coming along this road, I was uh, still the lead rider. And just before I got to these lights, they changed to amber. Uh, so obviously I wouldn't have been able to stop in time to uh, stop. Um, so I just had to keep going through it and all was well because I was within my rights to do so. But if I was a little bit further back, I would have had to slam the brakes on there. On my CBT, not today. Okay, I've got to turn right at this roundabout. Not sure what was going on there. Okay, right at this roundabout, so let's do my checks. This guy is waiting for me, as he should do, so thank you. Kill the indicator. And this is the last stretch. It was at this point then I realised that we were definitely heading back. <laughs> and the relief would have been immense. Nasty speed bumps. Oh. Okay, and that is it. We are back where we started. So let's change down into first and get around this corner. Okay, that is it. Done and dusted. Cool that indicator. Right, let's turn this off. Okay, so you just saw me do my, re do my CBT route, which I did on my CBT day there. Uh, unfortunately, where I stopped at the end, I couldn't stop and talk to the camera because there was a guy streaming the grass next to me. Uh, so yeah, basically, um, I hope you found that helpful. It was pretty much the same route today, a little diversion because that road was closed, um, basically. But it was really good for me to get out to... Do you know, today I've been out and I've done 55 miles, which is by far the furthest I've done on my motorbike. So I'm very pleased about that. Obviously, I had to ride into Newport and then ride back after I'd done my video as well. Uh, so I've been out for a few hours on my bike today, which is excellent. And I'm very pleased that the sun has come out. Uh, anyway, I hope you found that useful. Um, you know, if anything funny happened on your CBT or whatever, do let me know in the comments because I like to read about those kind of things. But uh, if you've got this far, make sure you hit subscribe. The button is just down there somewhere. So please do that and uh, give us a thumbs up as well because YouTube like it when you do that. Thank you very much for watching. Plenty more where this came from. So I should be out on my bike soon. Catch you later.